in this tutorial I'll go over how to make a scene in Blender and then export that it uh, in quotation marks to After Effects where we will add a lens flare to a specific object in the scene. First we should make our scene. So now we got the scene set up. Be sure to add a keyframe to your object. It doesn't have to move or anything, just has to, it just has to have at least one keyframe. Now let's animate the camera so you can show how it tracks to the uh, scene or the object. Let's just set this to like 140 frames, and then we render it out as a. Actually, no. Let's first export it into a file that uh, After Effects can read. So go to Add-ons, search After, um, check this on, save. And then you should be able to export what the After Effects. Uh, just name it whatever you want. And then it'll export the. Oh my. It'll export the camera movements and the object movements. And then you have to basically just render this out. Go into After Effects, go to File, Scripts, run a script file, go to your save, where you saved your script, you name this to whatever you want. You open that, and now if you click the sphere, Yeah, you could see where it is. And now, you would just add a new solid, add your lens flare, change this to 3D, and now you have to copy, and now to have it copy the Location of the sphere, wherever it is, you have to go to the. So, once you got the thing imported, you should just. Oops. You should just put this under there. Go back to the solid. On transparent. Then you. You copy this, you actually just alt click, alt click, then you copy the, the, uh, the thing I have, the expression I have in the description. You rename, you, wait, first you should get, you should rename this into flare. Object. Go back to this. Flare. Object. Flare. Object. So now you got the X and Y, but not the Z, so you just paste this. Moved this, change this to two, and then change this to flare object. So 
so now it is properly tracked to your to the to the well almost perfectly I guess. What are options? Well and then to whatever flare you want. I like the tech light. And now, just oh yeah, just press disable 3D perspective. You can change the brightness and or and scale to what you want. Set it to that. Just to 150. You can. You can, um, you know, you can do whatever stuff comes with the, the, uh, plugin. But then you go like, wait, when the, when the thing is off camera you can still see all this. And you, know, you might be wondering how do I fix this, well you gotta, you have to keyframe the brightness. So, you should add a keyframe here, this is zero. And let's say like right here it should be 100. like this to like 10 or something so it's so it just looks well good but that's the thing you have to do manually and if the sphere in the background was animated like it was moving around that it would still follow that as long as you keyframed all of it, which you would have to anyway. So if you enjoyed this tutorial, please like, subscribe, 